On the other side is a very bright prospect in the form of Roosevelt Roberts, the Predator out of Southern California, 26 years old, Michael, nine and one. He took a lump in the UFC, he came back to get another victory. He's the biggest favorite on the card tonight against a guy like Brock Weaver, who a lot of people think is as tough as it gets. Roosevelt Roberts, the ceiling is high on him. More than two minutes to work on the ground as he assumes full mount now. That was a slick transition. Now he's dropping his hips so that Brock has to turn to his knees in order to escape. Using that fence with his toes there. Now, oh, he's looking for the right jump. hands in the arm. Coming underneath. Oh, he's got it. That's right. Yes. 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 Pop the palm with the grip. He's not quite. Yeah. I tell you what, that was a lot of hard by Brock Weaver there. Yeah, it was. Take the hand with shots. Yes. Shots, shots from Roberts. Yeah. Wow. Stay there. It also looked like Brock might have got away with a fence grab there to escape that choke. But now he's right back under with the opposite arm, and now it's done. That one's under the neck and tight. Nice Big he squeeze done. Yep, it's over. There's the tap for wow. Weaver. Roosevelt Roberts by submission in round two. A full performance for the Predator. Wow. Who's back in the win column in a big way. Roosevelt, the Predator. Rear naked choke in R2 for Roosevelt Roberts. Brianna the Bull Van Buren heading out to the Invicta FC cage, hoping to snatch up Invicta FC gold in this final fight in our tournament tonight here, Jimmy. And man, Brianna Van Buren has been nothing but impressive so far tonight. Not arrogance, if you can back it up, is that Absolutely. the way it works? Well, she has been confident in her skills and she has dominated both opponents. Great takedown, great double leg, great elevation, great ground and pound. We haven't seen much of her stand up just because she's been so dominant with those ground and pound positions. Van Buren with some big shots from the top there. Yeah, credit for oh. defense and staying in this fight, but if she can't change the position, she's in big Van trouble. Buren that might for be it. Another rear naked choke. Tough angle to see from here, Jimmy. Does she have the grip? She's underneath the chin. This might be over. Just it looks like it. it could be under Jimmy. Oh, I see the tap. Brianna Van Buren is now your new Invicta FC strawweight champion. Unbelievable, Jimmy Smith. And the new Invicta FC strawweight champion of the world, Brianna. making her UFC debut tonight, Michael. Not many people can say in this day and age in mixed martial arts that they've won multiple fights in a night, but Brianna did so in Invicta FC just back in the beginning of May of this year when she won three fights to take home the strawweight title. The cells are fired right back there. Look at this guy. Puts forward and then a knee to the body. Almost a four to one advantage in strikes at distance. That's a clinch in here nice in the second round. round. Wow. Wow. That, one definitely that, was a that was a solid connection. Bounced her head back. So is in survivor mode as Brianna Van Buren. Looking for an elbow from in close. Look at that shot. Look at that. That's beautiful. Brianna the Bull Van Buren. So here he is, one of New York's best 12th ranked, Shane Burgos. Split decision win over Cub Swanson back in May. Gave himself a B-plus for that. Joe says he could have pushed the pace more. This kid is very, very dangerous on the feet. Very strong physically. Has outstanding striking technique, particularly with his hands. I mean, he's got some crisp, nasty punches. Amir Khani with hands on knees as he is getting right struck. Right there, Amir Khani caught him with the right hand. Oh, Burgos with a vicious strike. This could be it. Outstanding performance by Shane Burgos. And we see here the big punches landed early. S transfers to Southpaw, comes overhand left, and then he continues doing damage, going left hand to the face, throws a lot of body punches, ground and pound, and this is all in the first. Then we see here, excuse me, third round, not first. And then we see here these big elbows landing. 
man, those are some Travis style, Travis Brown style elbows. And then right here to the body, just to take the air out, to put a bow on it. And right here, this finishes the fight right here. Body shot to an uppercut, or excuse me, right straight to an uppercut to finish the job. And the referee stay, steps in and saves Amir Khan. Well, Shane Burgos, after he beat Cub Swanson in May, was hoping for a top 10 opponent. You gotta think on the strength of this win tonight that he will get that wish.